little bit strategic, um, getting the puck down there, obviously. There's a shot and a score! Whoa. Wow, what a snipe by Shannon Hollins! And the Crimson jump on top! Yeah, and you know, we're just talking about getting the puck to the net right then, and she kind of just grabs the puck, tops the circles, and goes, you know, she rips it, and right over the shoulder of Callie Shanahan there. It's a great shot. Well, we'll see it right again. It's starting in the face-off circle where Harvard's been so good so far today, and you can see Hollins works her way around and finds herself in a good spot. And that starts with Mia Biotti. She goes, you know, she walks the line, gets it down low to her. Top of that crease area. And now forced back around to the blue line. Gia Quinto just kicks it in, keeping the pressure alive here for the Terriers. Healy fires a shot and a score! Sydney Healy, the freshman. Her fifth goal on the season. And the Ontario product has tied it up at 1-1 here in period number one. Yeah, it's a great play here by Sydney Healy. She just drives her feet right off the wall and she gets to the middle right into the slot and fires the puck. And it's a great shot by her, great awareness to get that puck on net and, and it's a great goal. See that pressure by Giaquinto at the blue line to just force that puck and keep that pressure on. Yeah, she kept the play alive there, and, and again, Healy just drove her. Harvard's power play 6.1, 12th in the ECAC. For Boston University, the penalty kill at 79.8. That's eighth in the Hockey East. Shot from the top. There's a seeing eye shot. It goes in. Beautifully placed by Kira Willoughby, the senior. And Harvard jumps on top. A power play goal for the Crimson. Yeah, that's a great shot from the point. We talked about that earlier, you know, just trying to get the puck up, low to high, and, and with a good screen in front, and she just fires that at the net, and it's a great shot and a great goal. Looks like Gabby Davidson-Adams got a tip in front of the net on that shot by Willoughby. We'll take a closer look here, but right now it's Davidson-Adams who's going to be credited the goal. It's going to be her eighth on the season for the Crimson. Oh, Vote takes it away. Vote trying to pass it back down low. Back in shot. Oh, denial by Shanahan. Excuse me, it's Boynton. Wow, what a save. Boynton just extended that left leg. And here's a chance for Hollins. Oh, what a save for Shanahan. Goalies are playing out their minds. Oh, that rings off the post. Oh, it's a goal. What a sequence there by both teams. Wow. Shannon Hollins, a happy Valentine's Day to you. <laughs> Two goals for the junior. Three one lead for the Crimson. Both netminders playing out their mind, Cali. It's a great spring forward for Hollins, and you're gonna see it just come right back out, but it goes inside the post under the crossbar, that little tight angle where it hits the netting and pops right back out. Yeah, it's a great second effort. Callie Shanahan makes an incredible save. The rebound pops out really wide. Um, you know, it ends up right back on her sticks. Players' high. confidence to, to make plays like that, special plays. This is back. Another chance redirected. Bouncer puck. Oh, a score! Julia Neris gets the Terriers within one. Both teams really just trading chances here. And it's just a, a great goal here by the Terriers. Um, you know, to bounce back right away and you go down by, by two goals and to come back right away like that, pull yourselves back within one, it's, it's really important. Well, setting up the traffic in front, good job to just read the play and there's two Terriers behind the defense. Yeah, it's just a great play here by O'Leary. She just gets a puck to the net and Nearest is waiting out front, gets a tip on it and buries it. Five goals already. It's back on the near side on the turnover, Disher. Looked like she was hung up there for a second. That gets the extra shove there by Della Rovere. It's a two-on-one. Davidson Adams, rebound, shot, and a score! And Bloomer gets in on the action. Career goal number 53 and her 14th on the season. It's back to a two-goal lead for Harvard. Again, defense just leading to offense, Callie. Yeah, it does. There's a step up in the neutral zone here, and it creates this two-on-one. And she just makes a great play off the pad of Callie Shanahan. Um, and, you know, the puck just ends up right on her stick for this rebound goal. Let's see, Della Rovere just takes out Brooke Disher on that blue line. It creates the two-on-one, and 
from there. It was all back <laughs> through the middle. Shot. Oh, top shelf. You cannot hide the cookies from Brooke Disher. Wow, the freshman puts it on a platter. What a goal there by Brooke Disher. I mean, as a freshman, to have that type of confidence to come in right inside the blue line and take a shot like that, it's really impressive. What a snipe, her sixth goal of the season. And Callie, this starts on the defensive zone again for BU. Yeah, it does. It's a great breakout here, great patience. And again, Brooke Disher joining the play on the weak side. Weak side in hockey is such an important piece of the game. And she just... Nice she saucer pass on the near side for Neeris. Mativi back to the far side. As Disher and Vogt back from Mativi. Mativi back down low for Neeris. Back from Mativi. Oh, and ricochets it in. Shoots it off the defender. And it's a 4-4 game in Chestnut Hill. Fifty-four seconds remaining, and Boston University has tied it here in the second frame after trailing by two twice. Yeah, and it's really great movement here from BU's power play. It goes again all the way across. It goes low. Sorry, excuse me. It goes high to low and back down to the slot. And Mativi makes no mistake and puts that in the cage. You can see Mativi hit, hits it right off of O'Leary and gets the redirection to go in. Kind of use her as the backboard. In D1, here's a quick shot. Saved by Shanahan. I don't know how she saw that one through traffic. She had Mativi literally on top of her. Going the other way, it's Vote. Vote, nice little shimmy shake back to Vote. Oh! What a score by Christina Vote! The patience on this play is just extremely impressive. Well, Christina Vote has put Boston University on top with her fourth goal of the season. Just a beautiful give and go here. And just this pass right there, giving it back to vote by Catherine Fulem, unselfish. Yeah, for sure. She could have definitely shot that one herself, but she waits and waits, draws a defenseman in and passes it right back across the crease. And that's the, that's the pass it's going to be Daisy Boynton. Two consecutive goals for Boston University. Kelly keeps it in at the blue line. We'll work it around for Disher. Disher hounded and Lapp will take the puck away. Little toe drag, but Lapp didn't see the defender coming back around. It was Yoon. Yoon has at the circle, fires a shot. Oh my goodness! A tough angle shot by Clara Yoon! And the Terriers lead six to four! What a shot there by Clara Yoon, and again, that's another freshman there and an impress impressive shot. And to take a shot from that angle, it takes a lot of confidence and she just beats her right above the shoulder. Really impressive there. Now, there's no in-booth cam here for us, <laughs> but both of our jaws probably hit the ground when we saw that go in. That's a, that's a shot you don't see people taking ang uh, angles people don't take shots from. No, and again, like I said, it takes a lot of confidence to take a shot from that angle and take a shot like that. Right, Hannah Bilka getting a shot in the World Championships. Marie-Philippe Poulin, who's been a USA killer. This is towards the empty net and in. It's going to be Christina Vogt and how fitting that she started this third period with a great goal and now ends it with a great goal. Yeah, and that kind of just seals the deal there, it seems, for BU. She just turns around and fires it at the net. She knows that the, the, the net's open and she just seals it. That's going to... Put the dagger in this one, seven to four, still 90 seconds remaining. But Boynton will be back in between the pipes and Blinkhorn will take this phase.